what is up youtube welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be i'm going to show you guys how to actually be able to play apex mobile on your pc uh, so the first thing is you're obviously going to have to go to google and look up nox uh, nox is one of those um pretty much platform that allows you to play any sort of emulator that allows you to play any enjoy and uh games in general so the first thing you want to do is download nox uh, but make sure you download the one right here that says with Apex Legend instead of just a regular uh, one. So you click here, download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to press this. Um, and then I'll get that done. It's going to take you about 5-10 minutes depending on the speed of your computer. Um, and then I'm going to show you how you can actually play the game. Uh, and you can actually set it up for you to play with controller or mouse and keyboard. Um, Alright guys, once you have um, Nox, you download it for yourself. You have the little... Uh, you can go on it real quick so you open it up you're gonna have what looks like just a regular um, computer desktop setup now you can go to google store or the google play store and it's going to show you all the games and things like that that it has on it you're going to have to look up apex it won't actually download apex on it so obviously you're going to have to uh, go to apex you're going to have to download or check into your google account and things like that um, i'm not interested in this right now uh, but you go right here, tap Apex. It's not going to show up at the very top. Obviously, I already own it, so it's not going to show up at the top. When you look up Apex, it's not going to be the first game you see. It's going to be a bunch of different games, and then you're going to see Apex. So you're going to have to scroll down and look for the actual Apex game. So I'll see there, you download it. Takes a couple minutes, like I said. Then you should be good from there. Now, this is probably the easiest way for you to play Apex on a mobile version. So, right off the back, I'm going to show you guys by starting the game how it looks um, roughly. Um, I can tell you right now, the graphics on this are not the best. Obviously, you are on PC. I have a 3090. Um, and this is a very good morning, 720 world's edge. competition was a heck of a lot of fun. Jericho, do you think the great squad so, would pull out the not win? much at all. I did that. Um, as you guys can see, it's logging me in already. You see all these little word things? That's the thing you use to set up the uh, mouse and keyboard aspect. Of it. Just me just showing you guys you can actually play this game on a PC. All right, so we're in the game, as you guys can see right here. And surprisingly enough, there's a, a chat as well. <laughs> We don't have this in the actual Apex thing. This is just a regular chat, which is surprising that we have. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see right here, you have the basic game that you have the same thing on uh, PC on the mobile side. Uh, we're gonna go to the free practice area, which is uh, the range, and they do display that a lot better than uh, the actual PC, which is uh, pretty funny in a way. So I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, actual mouse and keyboard and how to set up the uh, controller, whether you have a PS4 controller or a PS5 controller or Xbox controller. Now, I use Xbox, but uh, I'll show you how to set it up. You're going to have to play around with it with your sensitivity specifically because it is going to be all over the place um, and it's going to be very high initially. All right, so this is in third person. You can switch to first person by clicking down here. Now you're in first person. Um, this is probably the hardest part is like, if you're using the uh, the mouse, you're gonna have to put right here and then just drag around. You have to hold your uh, left click. Go down. Third person actually looks pretty cool too, so. So this is the range. As you guys can see, the graphics are not the best, but it's still pretty good. I mean, it's a mobile game. You have to keep that in mind. Most mobile games are 720p. All right, so first things first is for to set up the controller or the keyboard, it's going to be these keys right here. By just pressing on it, usually it's automatic setup uh, because the Nox emulator already has it on it. Uh, so you just click on there and automatically probably put all the keys into... You automatically put all the keys into uh, configuration, as you guys can see right here, which is one, two, for the weapons. This is for the heals. And, and so on. Um, now, if you put a controller, I already have mine set up, you will not have this. Uh, so, the first thing you're gonna have to do is set up the left joystick and put it over here, which is the movement one. The right joystick, put it in the center, which allows you to look around left, right, forward, whatever else. Um, and then single click for every specific um, key, in a sense. So, you have my shooting key right here, uh, the jumping key is A, 
Crouch, Bravo, and so on. So you have to set it up every single one of them. So this right here is technically the Sprint. Um, one thing that is very weird when it comes down to controller, right now I'm playing with controller, as you guys can see, it's a little bit different, is that for sprinting, I don't, you guys can see right here where my analog is, it's not straight up. If you move straight up, I'm, I'm speed walking, like he's literally speed walking. If I move a little bit to the right, now I'm sprinting. So that's that's one of the downside of it. So, uh, Hell Jumper was having some hard time being able to run himself. Um, everybody might be different. You, you're not gonna have to keep it here, but for me, this is the way that I have to keep it. You know, for me to sprint. Um, so you can crouch, uh, slide. I, I haven't been able to wall jump yet or anything like that. Uh, but everything else is fairly similar. Uh, the only down thing slash awkward thing is the weapon. I have to grab them like this, and the aim is just. The one thing you have to play is within the setting. Reloading. So for the aim, you're gonna have to actually go to the settings right here, um, then go to sensitivity, and this is pretty much my settings, which is 49, 51. Uh, I do have this at 147. Um, you're gonna have to drag this down, which is 147, 145, 38, 60, 60. I would say I'd initially put everything at 50% and below, uh, mostly because it's gonna feel very glitchy and very fast, uh, especially if you're playing on controllers. For mouse and keyboard, it won't be really matter much. Um, now you do have an automatic um, shooting, so if you go to basics, you will have auto firing as soon as you ADS onto a target, uh, and you will know where uh, people are. So that's one thing. So whenever you have this auto fire, it will automatically lock onto target as this and automatically shoot uh, at the target. So you can turn this on and off. You can play with it initially. I would say keep it on for the first couple of weeks of you playing. You get used to that aspect of auto fire. Um, everything else is just the same thing. Um, just kind of the auto fire, release fire, etc. The gameplay is just the auto run parts. Uh, if you're playing with the with mouse and keyboard, it will automatically run for you. Controller does not auto automatically uh, run for you, so you're gonna have to have that little click on a little bit of the right. You have to play with it. It's very annoying in a sense. Um, I will honestly just, if you prefer to play from your phone, it's probably a little bit better because uh, you can automatically just set up your controller to the phone. But other than that, this is how you play um, with. Um, this is how you play the mobile game with your uh, PC. So the graphics are not any better than the uh, the actual PC or the actual phone version. It's actually probably a lot less um, good in a sense because it looks like 30 FPS to me, uh, if not lower. Uh, even though it says 60 FPS right here or 49, 52, um, I still don't think it's uh, it's that good. Um, yes, you are able to move with probably like I'm maneuver people a little bit more. Compared to some of the um, actual um, bone part, but you're not going to be able to Reloading. do much other than the actual maneuverability of things. The one thing too is uh, to set up the bottom part. So you have Y right here. You cannot have Y for both of them, so you will not be able to have repeated icons. You're gonna have to get separate icons. So you're gonna have Y and then R3, which is just to press down the right joystick for me. Um, that allows me to switch to secondary weapon. So let me show you real quick. I'm gonna grab this by pressing down. So if I press Y, all it does is take the first weapon out. So I gotta hold down the second on every one in order for me to be able to have it. Reloading. And you can just put it away. One thing that I did notice, and a lot of us noticed for sure, is the amount of ammo you have for each weapon that you pick up. It's infinite in the firing range. It's not like you know the regular one where you have a certain amount which is kind of dumb it would be make sense to have infinite two in the pc version so i really think that uh apex did put a lot of work onto the mobile version so those of you that want to play the mobile version and enjoy the mobile version this is definitely the way for you to go um but yeah. time. speed feels like it's a, not as fast as uh the pc or even the uh xbox or any other stuff but it is, you know, it's just about the same. Time. Jump pad. In regards to uh, the actual video <laughs> game. This a little bit different. You guys can see you have a little zip thing. 
All right, if you watched this video until the very end, thank you all so much for the support. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, the subscribe to the channel. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I hope this helped out one of you guys out there. Have a wonderful day.